peace and blessings family peace and blessings and this video right here is for the sisters of god or just sisters in general for god had put this word on my spirit to educate and inform the women today and this is five sides you know you are dealing with an evil man let's get straight into it number one controlling controlling you know there's many forms of controlling but when a man is trying to control a woman he's trying to dictate everything in her life like you can't go out at this time you can't speak you can't express yourself emotionally you know you can't go out and see your family go out and have a good time with your friends you know you just on the schedule that he got you on right there's a difference between you respecting your man knowing that you can't wear this or if he tell you you can't go out at this time for uh, an important reason that you, of course, honor that man. A man who is actually looking out for you. A man who actually showing you love and compassion, right? But this man is doing it in a way where just to benefit himself, being selfish, narcissistic, amen? And number two is gaslighting slash manipulative. Using your emotions against you. For, you know, women are the weaker vessels. They are easily deceived, just like Eve in a garden. Easily deceived, and we still see it today. You know, it sounds good, but it's a lie. It sounds like he loves you. What he says to you in your ears Because you love what you're hearing But it's not true You gotta base a man on his actions Make sure his actions Match his words Make sure they're one You know Don't be pressured To giving your body away For God Tells us all To honor our body for our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And you don't know what demons that this man has in him that he can pass on to you. Now you depressed. Now you feel guilt and shame. And he on to the next. Because he done gaslighted you and manipulated, ma manipulated you to think less of yourself than what you should. Always know you're worthy of love, sisters. And God loves you very much. You don't need validation from a man who doesn't appreciate you. Get that validation from God who loves you. Number three, highly emotional. Because we live in, in a time today where a lot of people don't even going to address this video or address this topic, excuse me. That men today are highly emotional, easily offended, easily bothered. And when you got a man who's highly emotional, more emotional than you, that's a red flag. All these are red flags, but that's a big red flag. Because you don't know what will come out of that man. Man has testosterone, plus he's emotional. That's a train wreck waiting to happen. Abort, abort, abort. And these should be all things that you look for before you even let a man inside your crib, let a man inside your vicinity before you like give your heart to this man. But you gotta make sure you check off the, the boxes. And be patient. Patience is key. Be patient. Don't rush something. Don't rush it. 
Because how is a man going to be that solid foundation for you if he is not even that solid foundation for himself? Because his emotions are all over the place. He can't make sound decisions due to his emotions. He can't become that comfort zone, that safe place for you if he's always enraged or always oppressed. Not saying man don't have emotions now. Just saying that he's overly emotional. He doesn't take the steps to really cope with his emotions in a positive way. A good man, you know, he gonna need your support. He gonna need your compassion, your love. But he's gonna make sure that he put in his family first, himself first over his emotions. And he gonna just need you to support him through that. And he not gonna take none of those emotions out on you. Cause it has nothing to do with you. It's something to do with himself. Amen. Number four is no self-control. If you got a man who has no sexual discipline, no discipline over himself, that's a red flag as well. Because now he can have outbursts. Maybe he be overly drinking. We all know what these things can lead to. Maybe he's overly eating that leads to slothfulness, right? So you gotta get a man with some self-control who know how to tell himself that this is enough. I gotta stop indulging in this. I gotta stop doing this because I have a family I have to take care of. I have a woman who I have to lead. In Jesus' name. And then if he can't have control over his lust, how can you trust him to be loyal to you? In Jesus' name. Amen. And the last one is not honest, does nothing for you or your family. And that is like the biggest red flag. That is just a man who's using you, abusing you emotionally, physically. Because... Women, you can't get caught up in the physical so much. You gotta look deeper into the spiritual, into the emotional. You wanna make sure you get a man who actually cares about you, you know? So if you out here choosing these men willingly, that's on you. And if you're not willing to leave this relationship, you gotta find a way, you gotta better repent and pray to God that he have mercy on your soul. Because relationships can get very toxic very quickly. So if a man not being honest with you from the start, you think he will be honest with you throughout the relationship? No. If he's not doing nothing for you in the start, you think he's going to just start doing stuff for you? No. So just take heed to these signs, sisters. I pray this word blesses you. I pray you got edified from this video. Like, comment, and subscribe for the devil. It's definitely going to turn up on this one. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.